Hi, dear students. Today we are going to explain for first preparatory stage the vocabulary lesson of our first unit in close-up book B1. Here we have the first unit speaks about family ties. Here we have the title, very clear, speaks about the family relationships. And here we have a picture that presents the ages or the different ages in the family. Here we have three hands for three generations, for three people from different ages. For sure, this hand is for a kid or a baby. The middle one is for a middle-aged person or an adult. The third hand represents a very old person in the family, which is the grandparents. Here we have in our unit, it focuses on the family relationships and family history. Let's think about this question together. Why do we look like our relatives, the family members? Why do we look like our family members? How can we learn about our family history? The family history is very important to learn about and to know because it's full of your history and your parents' history and your grandmother's history and so on. So here we have some new words in this unit that are very important to learn and to know and to focus on because they are the main words in our unit. The first word is called gene. What is the gene? In our body we have genes which we have from our parents and this make our looks like our parents. Here we have the part of a cell passed from parents to children that determine how they look. So I look like my mom or my father because this gene. What is the meaning of generation? And again, I have mentioned this word before. Generation means people from different age in the family. Ancestors, again, the word says called ancestors. Who are the ancestors? They are people related to you who lived long time ago. So they are older than you. They are not the same age, but they lived in the old ages before. Okay, we have a new word called genealogy. Again, genealogy. What is genealogy? It's the study of family history. Okay, so to know your history or the family's history, we have to learn this study or this science. It's called genealogy. Okay, here we have takes after. Takes after is a word which means to follow someone's attitude and behavior. It's not related to the features or the looks, but it relates to the attitude and the behavior. Okay, let's go to look like. Look like is different. When I say she looks like her mom, it means that she has the same features or appearance. So here, look like is different from takes after. Again, takes after related to the attitude and behavior. Maybe she is very nervous like her mom. Maybe he is very nervous like her father, his father. So this takes after. So he has a, an attitude or a behavior from a parent. Looks like for the appearance and the way you look like. Okay, pass down. Here we have something go from up to down. Pass down means my father gave me a gene or my mom gave me a gene. So we said that this gene passed down from the father or the mother to the children. So it means transfer to. Relative, again, a relative is a family member. Anyone in your family, we call him or her a relative. 
find out we can all find out information on the internet so find out means to discover or learn something new you didn't know before look for means to try to find or search when you want to look for something it means you search for it let's see our topic in the unit here we have in your books the first part you have here are the words that we have explained sorry with the words which we have just explained here and more of the of, over them from the text here we have the text the first main point here in the first part here we speak about how we look like our parents and how we take after our parents let's read this part when you look in a mirror do you see your father smile may you take after your mother or look like a grandparent so here we have in this point in this paragraph it's focus on your appearance or your attitude here we have the dna the dna is a test that we do to know our genes related to our parents grandparents and so on to know the history or the genes inside our body from the relatives here the dna contains genes that make each person in the world different so no one is alike the other in the genes because they have different genes from different families let's go to the second part your family history may be a mystery maybe it's something you don't know about so we have to know about it but there is a way to find out about it let's go how can we find out about our family history we know that from the science we call it genealogy and again the word genealogy here is very clear to study the family history it's a study of the people you are relative related to genealogy helps you to put together your family history it starts with the relatives you know such as parents and grandparents and so on so you can know that from the study of the history of your family relatives let's complete here on the second page in page seven in your book you will find the the the, the next part of the topic okay like okay it's it's difficult to learn about the past yes you can begin by asking your relatives some questions about your ancestors why are that why are you are talking with your family members you can take notes and you can make records for yourself to collect information about your family make sure you write down your any names you know dates and places and that people mention then you can draw a family tree like this one and put photos on it for the family members so in this part you can collect information from your parents your grandparents about your family members let's go to the last paragraph he says if there uh, there are any blank boxes in your tree it's time for some detective work let's see what are the detective work we can go to a library where we can look for family names in old newspaper and we have something old public records the public records make records for the people who are born newborn people and the people who died so here we have the public record we can have birth certificate and we can have death certificate also and this tell us very clear information about the people who are still in life or people who died okay let's see here we have in this exercise exercise d on the topic we have here 10 sentences and each sentence maybe it's true maybe it's false so i will leave for you some time to read the topic again and you can answer these alone in two minutes and then we will see and check their correct answers
Okay, here we have the first one. We look the way we do because of the gene in our DNA. Yes, it's very true because it's a very important point to know that the gene is the reason for our appearance. A DNA test can show where in the world our ancestor lived. Yes, we can know from where they were born. The third one, you can find out the number of relatives you have in a DNA test. Sure, we can know the number of our relatives from a DNA test. Number four, genealogy is the study of our past and present family members. Yes, it's about the history of the family member and the history is the old things and the present things. Five, relatives who are alive could have information about ancestors. Sure, we can collect information from people who are still alive. Six, a family tree shows how you are related to other people in your family. Very true, yes, because when we draw the family tree, we can find our place in it so we can know we are related to the people in the family. Number seven, a detective can help you to find information about your family. A detective here, not a detective work. A detective here means a person who works for police. No, he cannot give us information about the family history because he is not a scientist. He didn't study genealogy. It's possible to buy old newspaper at some libraries. No, we cannot buy anything from the library. We can only search or find out information in the newspaper. Public records tell you when people were born. Yes, we said that public records tell us when people born and when they died. 10, the text says that websites can help you find information about your ancestors. Yes. Some websites, we can find on them some information when we look for information about our family. Maybe we find it on Facebook and so on nowadays, like social networking. But some information like, like the public records, we can find them online nowadays in the modern age. So number 10 is very true. Okay, let's go to exercise F. He is a very easy one. This just make a refreshment for your memory about the new word that you have learned. We have here six words and we have meanings. We have here a meaning and slash and another meaning. And you are going to choose which is the correct one. So I will leave for you one minute to think and then we will see the correct answers. Again, what is the meaning of take after? To follow somebody or to be like somebody. Again, to follow someone's attitude or to be like someone in the features. Take after. Hmm. Let's think. Sure, it means to follow someone's attitude, number one. Number two, look like look like means what look like means to have a similar appearance or to see things you enjoy no to have the same or the similar appearance for sure three pass down mean to send something to someone or transfer something to someone who is the relative for sure is the family member Find out means what? To discover or learn new information about something you didn't know before. Look for means to search, to try to find about some information you don't know about. All right. Here we have some exercises that will refresh our mind. We know most of these words from primary stage. And here we have the family tree 
members. Let's see, we have here the names of the relatives and here are the relationships. So let's make a match. This is a match exercise that make a refreshment to our mind and memory about our family and their relation to our family members. So we have here your mom's mother. Who is your mom's mother? For sure, you will tell me, D, my grandmother. For sure. Number two, your brother's or sister's daughter. So when your brother or sister has a daughter, so what shall we call her? Let us, let's think together. For sure, it's the niece. Sure. Three, your uncles and aunt's children. When your aunt and uncle have children, we call them what? Hmm. Let's think. Yes, cousins. Four, your brother or sister's son. Your brother or sister's son. So it's a boy, not a girl. So for sure it's the nephew. Yes. Your mother's sister. We call her like your brother's sister. Sorry, like your father's sister. The same. Mother's sister and your Father, sister are the same. We call the aunts. Okay. Six, your father's wife, if he marries again. Your father's wife, if he marries again. So we call her our stepmother. Okay. Okay. In exercise B, here we have complete the sentences using two words in each group. So we have here three words. For each sentence or each part, we are going to use only two words. The first one, let's read it and then we will answer them quickly after you finish reading them and try to answer them alone first. I will leave for you two minutes and then we will see the answers. Okay. The first one, Peter has always been very tall, of course, because he, he says he was 1.98 meters when he was 14. He has also quite what, even though he eats a lot, he's always what? He's always quite slim. Two, we have Annabelle and Claire have got the same what? They aren't very tall and they are both a bit what? They have the same shape. Shape here means build. And the second one, they are both a bit overweight. Way is a verb, so it's not a description. Three, I love your son's curly what? Hair. Mine is very what and dark. Let's think. We have beard, blonde, straight. Okay, blonde, of course. Blonde, curly hair, and mine is straight and dark. Sunday was boring. We spent it with our what grandparents and our parents. For the grandparents, they are old. So we call them elderly grandparents. And our parents are middle-aged. They are not very old and they are not young like kids. So we call them middle-aged. So here we have the answer, elderly and middle-aged. Okay, five. My aunt is very what person? She gives money to people in need. So she's very generous, kind. So she's always very what and spend a lot of time helping she is a hard-working person. Six, my cousin Jack is very what? He needs to do more exercise to help him. So he is very nervous. He needs exercise to relax. Granddad is very what? And fun-loving. And he always dresses in what clothes? The people who is very funny, 
they are easygoing and they sometimes wear scruffy clothes. The last one, Jack, is very what? If you ask him to do something, he forgets. He is very what, though, and does very well at school. Let's think. Yes, he's very reliable. Reliable means responsible. And at school, for sure, he is very clever. Okay, so he is very clever. Let's see the last exercise in this part for our video. Exercise C. I will leave for you some time to think. We have the same word that we have just used up in exercise B in a different exercise. I will leave that for you as an exercise to do as a drill and you will test yourself for your knowledge and awareness. Two minutes and then we will see the answers on the board directly. Okay, let's see the answers together. For exercise T, the first answer is height. The second one, way, and way he is a verb. Three, easygoing, means very funny character. Four, nervous, means angry most of the time. Five, young, means young in age, not old or middle age. Kind. Six, seven, elderly, means very old in age. Eight, hardworking, very strong at work. And that is our lesson for today's vocabulary. Thank you, my dear students.